Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Fulton County and expectations, timelines, little bits of information that have come out, kind of put it all together because there is a, a wide belief that we are coming to a decision and that things will start moving there very, very quickly. Um, of course, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, this would be the Georgia case concerning Trump. And the thing that kind of reignited all of the speculation about this is barricades went up around the courthouse there. The, the general idea is that that has something to do with a pending announcement. Does that track with everything else that we've we have been able to gather over the last couple of months. The, the DA kind of indicated that it would occur in August. Uh, more specifically, at one point said the first two weeks in August. Okay. And one of the really interesting bits is the reporting that says she asked judges to schedule no trials or in-person hearings from August 7th to August 14th. So this is a major court system here, grinding it to a halt for a week. Something big is happening. There are a number of theories about what is happening. One says this is extra security. It's to maintain privacy, secrecy during the final proceedings, moving up to an indictment. The other is that this is to process any individuals that uh, get named in an indictment. Now, if that's the case, we should know ahead of time because there should be travel arrangements that were made for some of them. Um, so we should get a little bit of a heads up there. The other, uh, the other thing to remember is that if this is for providing security for the proceedings, then we may not know until after this period because it may be something to maintain the secrecy of any grand jury and then the announcement would come later. That's also a possibility. What do we know about potential charges? The DA brought in a, an expert on racketeering cases. So there's a high expectation that that has something to do with it. There's also reporting that says it has to do with uh, solicitation to election fraud. All of that would track. If the information that has, has gone out so far is accurate. This is probably going to be sprawling. This is going to be big. Um, it won't be one or two people or three people. It will probably be a pretty large case. Um, but again, we don't know much. All of the speculation is fueled by the barricades, the roadblock stuff going up. Um, so we're definitely closing in on the, the final period here. We, again, we're talking about in, in just the next little bit more than a month that the Georgia case, there should be some final determination with that. Trump has, uh, Trump has indicated a lot of desire to end this investigation um, in these proceedings in particular. There's probably a number of reasons for that, but one might have to do with the large nature of it. And it's important to remember that the, the verbal sparring that Trump likes to engage in on social media 
might have worked to his disadvantage here. And it's unlikely, at least at this point, I do not see this ending without some form of indictment. It seems more like a matter of when than if. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.